Hey guys, welcome to my video. I just wanted to do this little sit down chat and introduce myself. My name is Jennifer. Um, I know my channel is brand new and most of y'all probably don't know me yet, but I just kind of wanted to do a little backstory and tell y'all a little bit about myself and my weight loss journey. And I'm gonna go way back on the weight loss journey, all the way back to when I was a little kid because that's really how long this has been going on. So I grew up in a little town. I live in Tennessee, Middle Tennessee, and I grew up in a small town, probably about an hour south of Nashville. And you know, when I was growing up, I was always I was always the fat kid. Um, I always knew that in class I was fat. It was like everybody else was skinny. I was the fat one at school. I was the fat one at home and my family and everything else. Um, so I always knew. I always knew that I was fat. Everybody always told me that I was mainly um, family members. That was probably the hardest thing to deal with growing up. It was like, Jennifer, you're fat, but there was no guidance. Here I am, eight years old, and you know, there's really no guidance on how to be on a diet, but yet I was expected to somehow figure out how to lose weight as this little kid. Um, we pretty much had a full spread of country cooked food every night for dinner. And, um, you know, I'll go through stages where I would try to eat less or whatever, but there were never any healthy choices, nor was anything ever instructed to me. So I just kind of grew up that way. You know, family get togethers were always anxious for me because I knew that somebody was going to make a comment about my weight and they always did. It never failed. Um, somebody would always say something, Jennifer, you don't need that piece of cake. You don't need this. You don't need that. And you know, that's really hard when you're at a holiday party or, you know, get together and everybody else is sitting around having a good time and it's not that everybody else was skinny and their ideal weight, but they always felt the need to comment on my weight. I'm not sure why. So it's something that I dealt with. Um, I didn't really deal with much bullying per se in school with my weight. Um, you know, some people would make a comment here or there, but it really wasn't that big of a deal. Um, I pretty much grew up being a size 14 when I was a teenager. I stayed a 14 pretty much my whole life. And, you know, I got married and uh, started having kids and stuff. I was still that size 14. That kind of seemed to be my standard size. And after I had the kids, I, well, when I was pregnant with my second child, my, my father died in an accident. He was only 44 at the time. I was in my mid-20s and you know, now that I think about it, that probably really affected me and you know, anxiety and depression is something that I have had to deal with throughout my life and you know, after that, after I had that second child, I really started putting on a lot of weight. I got up to 240 pounds or so and for reference, I'm only 5'4". Um, so that's a lot of weight to carry around when you're five foot four and I was miserable. Um, my career was going pretty well though at the time. I was controller at a company um, at a medical clinic here in town and um, everything was going pretty good but I hear I was at my heaviest and still miserable and you know hating myself. I always hated myself. I always hated my body. I knew that I never was pretty enough, I never was going to be good enough. I mean, that was told to me from the time that I was a little kid. Um, so finally, around 2011, 2012, I decided that I was going to start checking into weight loss surgery. And I did end up having weight loss surgery in 2012, um, and that was when I was at my heaviest at the 240 pounds. And really, I tried. I've tried every diet. You name it, I have tried it. Low carb, keto, just not eating, starving myself, diet pills, everything. I've tried them all. I know everybody probably has that is on their own weight loss journey. Um, so I had the uh, weight loss surgery in August of 2012, and I had great results. Um, I didn't have any issues with it at all. I lost a lot of weight quickly. Um, in fact, I got down, I got down probably to about 145 or so, but then I went back up to about 155 because if you know anything about the weight loss surgery, they do cut off a portion of your stomach, but your stomach does expand over time. So, um, 
anyway, my stomach expanded a little bit. You know, you put back on a little bit of weight, but I was kind of at a comfortable weight around the 150, 155 range. And I stayed there for several years. Um, I did have some plastic surgery. I did have a tummy tuck and I had a breast augmentation at the same time, uh, mostly because of loose skin. And I had a lot of loose skin on my lower stomach. Um, so that was that was an excellent um, decision as well. I have been very pleased with the results of that. Um, so then around 2016 or so, um, I went through a lot of personal stress um, that was very difficult for me to deal with. Um, I was really depressed for a long time after that and that's when I started to put back on weight. Um, I really just, I didn't care. I didn't care about myself. Um, I didn't care what I looked like. I thought, you know, why, why am I even trying to maintain this body that I worked so hard for and paid so much money for. Um, so I just kind of let it go and, you know, just let the depression take over. Um, I was on some antidepressants for a while and as most people know, those do cause weight gain. And through therapy and everything, I finally got through that and I kind of got to the point where I could come off of the antidepressants and um, you know, function normally again. I did leave my job uh, as controller at that uh, medical facility and I stayed home for a little while. Uh, my youngest daughter got pregnant and she ended up having a baby in 2017. So through that, through my depression, I also was hanging out with her a lot. We were eating, you know, that's what we did. We slept a lot, we ate a lot, and the weight started to just creep back up and I just kind of let it happen. Before I knew it, last year in 2019, I was up to 212 pounds last September. And I thought, what am I doing? Why have I, why have I let myself go like this? How could I lose so much weight and then turn around and gain more than half of it back, you know? Um, and so that's when I thought, you know, I really don't wanna do low carb, I don't wanna, cut out any food groups I, I've really wanted to I've, I've worked so hard on my mental health and to reestablish that that I also wanted to work hard on my physical health as well so that's how I ended up deciding to do Weight Watchers again because there were several youtubers that I watched and even though I wasn't doing Weight Watchers you know I like to get ideas and love watching people make food and grocery hauls and whatnot on TV which has also kind of led me to start my own channel um, so yeah, in September of 2019, I decided to join Weight Watchers and I have um, really stuck to it. I kind of, you know, my kids were both out of the house. I have two grown daughters and it was just my husband and myself. And so I started doing these meal preps for myself, you know, for dinner, just so that it would be ready. It would be easy because for the most part, my husband's kind of done all of the cooking over the years. And so then it's, he was kind of like, what am I going to eat? And I said, well, you can eat this food too if you want. I'll just, you know, make bigger portions and we can divide it out. And so over the past few months, that's kind of what we got into the habit of doing. We'll choose two meals and cook those and make six portions of each. And so that'll be our Sunday night through Friday night dinners, which really helps us out. We don't have to come home and cook at night. It's ready. We don't have to think about what we're gonna eat. We know we just alternate every other night and it's easy. Saturday is my weigh-in day. I always weigh in on Saturday mornings and um, Saturday is my cheat day. And I say that with quotes because I really don't have a full cheat day. I still eat my normal breakfast. I still eat my normal lunch. You know, I will be a little bit more lax. You know, I would have a drink or whatever if we go out to dinner on Saturday night. Um, last Saturday night, we went to the chop house. I still had a grilled salad, but I did eat the regular dressing that came with it. And I ate the bread and I had a glass of wine. And to me, that is my treat for the week. Um, my weight loss, I have today, as of today, lost 52 pounds, which is funny because this is right at my one year anniversary with Weight Watchers. Um, and it, the weight has not just, it has not been linear. It has been up and down. I have gained and lost. Um, I kind of had to get into a groove at first. It was super slow. I think just reintroducing, you know, carbs and fruits and things like that, that I thought that were bad for me. Um, so anyway, I, you know, kind of stalled back in March 
not necessarily because of anything that's going on in the world. I just think that I was eating more at my maintenance calories. So I did start double tracking for a little bit just to see how much I really was eating because with the zero point foods, you can overeat some. Um, so I started double tracking and I was just walking for 30 minutes a day on the treadmill and that was it. And then I decided to really up my workout game and I have really stuck to it. If you follow me on Instagram, um, my Instagram handle is at loving to lose underscore WW underscore Jen. Um, so I would love it if y'all would follow me there. I try to post three or four times a day just for accountability. And I started that a few months ago and have made a lot of great connections on that channel. I love it. And I want to do so as well here on my YouTube channel. Um, so pretty much what I do every morning is I get up and work out. I get up at 3.30 in the morning. I have to be at work at 8. Um, but I get up and, you know, drink my coffee and I read my Bible every morning. And then after about 15, 20 minutes, I'll get upstairs and get on the treadmill. And now I'm up to walking on the treadmill for an hour at a pretty fast speed. Um, I have it on an incline of 10 now. I've kind of worked up to that. And then I also do planks. I'm almost at a four minute plank and I do push-ups and crunches and you know I've added in some arm movements and stuff so my workout now takes about an hour and a half in the mornings. And then I get ready for work and go to work. I've tried to be very consistent on my food and um, I pretty much eat the same things all the time so you know as far as my meal prep videos hopefully they don't get boring I do try to implement some new recipes which I know the first times that I make these and share them with y'all it would be new but um, hopefully I don't have to do too many repeat meals but um, that's kind of my weight loss story um, I don't know if anybody else can kind of share in that uh, but my weight fluctuated up and down over the years and then it just really started skyrocketing again over the past couple of years after all of that work and if anybody thinks that having weight loss surgery has taken the easy way out you're 100 percent wrong it is a 100 percent commitment i have a friend that is doing it right now and she is seeing that it is a process and it is life-changing um but your stomach does stretch back out so i can eat normal portions now i do still have a little bit of restriction but only a little bit because it's been almost nine years since I had my surgery now um, so I have really wanted to take this weight off as slow as possible eating the most amount of calories that I can to try to keep my metabolism up because I think that especially for women that that really hurts our metabolism whenever we're eating too little or cu cutting out certain food groups you know kind of throws our hormones off and i've really felt great eating i mean i ate a ton of fruit i never would have thought four or five years ago that i would be eating fruits and vegetables and bread and you know just whatever i want basically i, I feel like i can eat whatever i want on weight watchers and i love it so I really intend to stick with this lifestyle. It works great for my husband and I. He does not do Weight Watchers. He does eat the dinners that I make. And in some of the videos, you will see that, you know, I might make his, his stuff with ground beef and I might use ground turkey. But I mean, he will eat the ground turkey and cauliflower rice and stuff like that as well. Um, he's not that picky. Um, but again, just stick with it. Consistency is key. Consistency is key with everything I have realized in life. I've consistently worked on my mental health and now I've consistently been working on my physical health and I feel like I can share it with all of y'all. Um, I hope that uh, this helps some of you. Um, just hearing my story, my ups and downs, I know that a lot of people have went through different things in their life and felt bad about their bodies and you know I try to tell any woman that I'm around now that they need to learn to appreciate their body. I think that women are beautiful. I think that we need to see ourselves as being beautiful. Um, if you follow my Instagram you'll see that I kind of got fired up the other day because there's another YouTuber, Yami. I'll link her channel below and somebody commented on her uh, picture you know why are you even posting this your body looks like shit well 
that makes me so mad because that is so hurtful to say to someone. I would never say those things to someone, and nor do I think that person that posted that would say it to their face. I mean, I just couldn't imagine strangers just walking up to you and making these comments that are made online. And so I did kind of have a little bit of a rant about that because it brought up all those old feelings that I had when I was a little kid. People felt like they could say whatever to me and it didn't matter. And it has affected me. It has affected my self-esteem my entire life. And I don't want to get emotional talking about it, but it is something that has been a, a burden to me my whole life. Um, with the weight losses, the gains, you know, feeling like a failure. Even whenever I did have the weight loss surgery back in 2012, I did not tell anybody about it. I did not tell a soul. I told my sister the night before I went into surgery, after months of prepping for it. It's not something that you can just up and decide to do and get it done the next day. It is a process. And so I thought, well, just in case I die on the table, I should tell my sister that I'm going in for surgery the next day. So I told her. Um, of course, most everybody that knows me now knows that, but the main reason I didn't want anybody to know, I thought, what if it doesn't work? What if this is another failure? Um, and it wasn't, it did work. And then everybody wanted to know my secret, you know, how I was losing so much weight, blah, 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 because it was kind of drastic, especially within that first three to four month period until you can consume more calories. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm glad that I had that weight loss surgery. I would 100% do it again. I don't recommend it for everyone. I think that you have to be in a certain mental state and you also have to change your mindset um, on living a healthy lifestyle, which I did that for years until I went through my bad depression in 2016 and 17 and just completely fell off the wagon. But, you know, I stopped caring about myself again. And then, you know, like I said before, last year I woke up and I thought, you know, I need to care about me. Jennifer is important. Just like I think that other women are important who I see put themselves down and think that they're fat or think that they don't look good enough. And you know, you're beautiful. Embrace it. Uh, so I do try to be positive. I, I feel like all women are beautiful. It doesn't matter what your size is. That does not have to define us. Men don't walk around, most men don't walk around letting their size define them. I know that there are some men that are on Weight Watchers and on their own weight loss journeys. So I don't mean to, you know, cut men out completely, but for women in general, society is very hard on us. And it's even harder when it comes from your friends and your family. Um, learn to support each other, learn to lift each other up. That's what I would say. Anyway, thank y'all for listening. I love you. I hope this is a good clip. Um, I'm really not going to edit it this much just so that you can kind of see the real me, but I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. Click that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and hit the like button. It really helps support my channel. I don't have many followers yet, but you know, I kind of I, I have a vision. I can see that this can go somewhere. I have a lot of advice for people. People are always asking me for stuff, and um, this channel also will not focus 100% on Weight Watchers or weight loss or food. I'm going to throw in some lifestyle things as well. You know, I'm going to try to start vlogging a little bit. I'm getting a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera. So we'll see how that goes and how the video, you know, what kind of videos y'all like to see. I love to see people that, uh, I, my favorite YouTubers are the ones that's a mixture. I want to feel like I can get to know that person, but also want to get their tips and tricks on their food or their weight loss or their fitness journey or whatever it is that they're on. So I watch a multitude of people and um, love this platform so much. So like I said, I've had this dream for a couple of years to start a channel and I finally did it. And it's just like weight loss. It's just like exercise. Just do it. You just have to start. And um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on how to be a YouTuber and that's their advice is just do it. Just start. So that would be my advice to you if you're just starting your weight loss journey. You just have to you know, click that switch in your mind and just start it and keep going. Your weight's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna be up and down. It will not, it will not be a straight line down. And just because you gained your three pounds, it's not a big deal. Just stay on track, get back on track, stay with it. It will come off eventually. 
Um, again, like I said, I now focus on trying to lose weight as slowly as possible, eating the highest number of calories as I can. And I have been losing about half a pound to a pound a week. Um, I have lost 52 pounds over the year on Weight Watchers, which is an average of one pound, but there are lots of weeks where I might have only lost two tenths of a pound or gained a pound or, or lost half a pound. And then there would be weeks to where I would lose two or three pounds. Um, so it, it just depends. You just got to go with the flow. I'm, I'm an accountant. I really just look at the numbers as data. Um, so I really try not to let my weight define me anymore because my weight's not who I am. It's something that's kind of always hung over me my whole life, but that's not me. I'm Jennifer. You know, I try to um, have a little fun in life and, you know, it's really just my husband and I. I love my little granddaughter. I get to see her on the weekends usually and um, that's pretty much it. Now I've started this YouTube thing. I do work a full-time job. Um, so this is kind of feeling like a second full-time job, but I am going to get there, guys. I love y'all. Thank you so much. Please hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see y'all in my next video. Thanks.